Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am very awkward, but I, I'm i not used to the whole YouTube thing, obviously. It's saying this is my first video, but I'm going to try. Um, based off the title, yeah, I am trying to conceive. Um, this is my second baby, or will be my second baby, I should say. Um, I wanted to make these videos, uh, right, right when I found out I was pregnant, which was like May, maybe June of 2016, but I never did. Um, I don't know why, but I want to get on the jump here and start making videos now, um, while I'm trying to conceive and get into the habit and everything else. Um, yeah, um. A little bit about me. My name is Emily. I have been with my partner, John, for eight years. We met at uh, our job. Um, we have since moved on from that job. And, well, I went back to it just recently. But, um, yeah. So, eight years. One baby. She is six. Uh, we call her Bug. Um, her real name's Caitlin. And she is currently in first grade, which is insane. And I think that's part of why I suddenly decided I wanted to have another baby, which, yeah. Um, so it was a impulse. And I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say an impulse decision. It was just like suddenly it felt like this month was right. Um, so, Yeah. Um, I went from being comfortable with having one kid to all of a sudden just being like, oh my God, uh, our family is ready to have another baby. Um, we are in a good financial situation. Um, I did not work for six years. So basically I think when I was still in my first trimester with my daughter, I stopped working um, because I was super duper sick and I was super duper dramatic, I think too. And I didn't work for up until right before she turned six, which was February 11th. So basically <laughs> we're in a much better financial situation than we have been ever in our lives. We're in a really nice apartment. We just moved back to Wisconsin from Indiana where we lived for five years. Um, and it just feels right. Like everything in my life just feels right. Um, especially now that I've switched to third shift. Um, I know it's going to be hard. Like I'm not going to get much sleep, especially when baby's a toddler. But I can survive off like no sleep. That's fine. Um, I am currently only two days DPO, so I'm, it's way too soon to test. Um, we technically already did the trying to conceive part, um, but I, I am just on here to say how excited I am, and I hope you guys are excited to be here with me and like if you're trying to conceive too like uh go ahead and like leave a comment down below and um I wish you all all of you mamas out there or soon to be mamas or anything like that like I wish you so much luck um and I you know hope you'll send some luck my way too <laughs> um but yeah um Obviously, I don't have any symptoms yet. Uh, the only thing I can report on is I think I ovulated. Like I say, I'm two days DPO, but my app said I ovulated yesterday. I don't think that's accurate. I'm pretty sure I ovulated um, two days ago based off of symptoms because, well, it was like the weirdest thing ever. And I have never experienced these symptoms before to this degree. But I had back pain, cramping, um, which I don't really hardly ever cramp. Um, and this has never happened before. I actually spotted. Um, 
I've never spotted between periods before. Like, maybe once or twice, like, when I was younger. Other than that, I've never spotted between a menstrual cycle before. But I'm, like, convinced, like, that was me ovulating, especially with how my cervical mucus was, too. Sorry, TMI. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I ovulated a day sooner. Regardless of that, um, I think I'm gonna do my first test, which I will film on the 16th, which will be based off of what I'm thinking is 10 DPO, um, and also it's my birthday, <laughs> so I'll be turning 29 that day, um, and I think it would be, like, if I were to get a positive pregnancy test, which I probably won't, even if I am pregnant, uh, that would be such a good birthday present, like, <laughs> and then if I do get pregnant this month, um, I will announce it at Christmas time to everybody except for like, I might tell my work beforehand because, uh, if it's anything like my last pregnancy, I'm going to be sick <laughs> and I don't want them sending me home every time I puke. But so the only issue is, and I should have looked into this before and this is the problem with like being a little impulsive. Um, if I get pregnant this month, it's fine. My work will still give me 12 weeks of paid time off. And that's parental leave. However, if I don't get pregnant, I might pause trying for two cycles and try again. Because then I will have been at my job for a year by the time I have baby, unless they were to come like four or five weeks early. Um, and I will get up to 22 weeks of paid time off. And I, first of all, this is like super generous. Like you don't understand, like the place I work, it's like notoriously bad. <laughs> um, nobody wants to work there, but like they just updated their, um, maternity leave and everything and it's pretty generous um so yeah less than a year of working there 12 weeks more than a year of working there um 22 weeks so if I only get the 12 weeks like let's face it there are some women out there who go to work like two weeks after having a baby so um I will not complain about 12 weeks but if I can get more, I will obviously, like, take more, especially, um, because this is going to be my last baby, probably, um, so I really want to, like, soak it up, especially since I won't be at home, uh, 24-7 for six years like I was home with my daughter, um, but I will update you guys um if I have any like two week wait symptoms which I doubt I will I didn't I I I got sore breasts with my daughter um and that was about it so if I have anything to update on I will otherwise uh, around the 16th I will post a video and um I might do a video with my family but I need to get like a tripod because <laughs> I'm holding my phone right now and it is not comfortable also, be patient with me. I really don't know how to use technology, despite how young I am. Um, so, editing and everything else is going to be a slow, tedious process. <laughs> and I probably won't edit these first few videos. But anyways. Yeah, I, I really hope that you will follow me on this journey. And, um... Good luck to you in your journey if you are trying to conceive. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in probably about a week. Bye.